welcome to my channel I am caress thanks for checking me out today I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful I call it like a um, deserty look kind of colors I'm using the Juvia's Place palette one of her palettes and I'm gonna be using the Morphe palette which has been becoming like one of my favorite palettes recently all those neutral colors I guess because I can use it every day just like my um, Kat Von D palette I love that palette Anyways, uh, when it was some glitter, you know or may not know that I love me some glitter. It really makes, you know, every look you try to do really makes it pop when you use some glitter. So, you know, I have to sprinkle some of that on there. Um, I recently just cut my hair. I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, I had a little bit of damage, so I had to chop, chop, chop. I don't have no problem cutting my hair if it has a little bit of damage, so trying to you know enjoy my new cut my new look I got caught in the rain so it puffed out and I was like I'm not cutting my uh, curling my hair again because that is very damaging you know keep caught curling your hair especially if you have natural hair um, so yeah I'm enjoying this look it was really really easy and quick for me to do my hair like it didn't take me a long time to uh, style and curl my hair so this is how it came out. I can't wait to see how much it's going to grow back. My hair was really, really long. And I'm going to miss it, but it's okay. You know, new beginnings, new looks, new things. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys uh, like the video, make sure to click like down below. And make sure to hit subscribe down there. And if you're curious about any other thing, uh, anything else in this video, just uh, comment down below and i make sure to hit you back up. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and it was like a total struggle doing this tutorial, oh my goodness, because um, out here in Texas, it is storming really, really bad, so the lights were flickering, and it was just a hot mess. That's another reason why my hair is all puffed, but anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling, let me get, get into this video. Mwah. Okay, so I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot as always, and that's going to be my base for my eyeshadow. I'm just going to spread it all over with my fingertip. And I'm going to be going into my Murphy palette. Now the first color I'm going to be going into is this nice tan color. And that is going to be placed into my transition area with my big fluffy eye brush. Next I'm going to go into this beautiful orange. It's like a, you know, like a medium color orange. I'm just going to place that right into the same area. Now I'm going to take this bright orange and I'm going to go a little bit deeper into my crease. And that is going to brighten it up even more. Now for my brow bone, I am going to go into that nice color. I always go into the same color for my brow bone, just to give it a highlight. To cut my crease, I'm going to be using my Tarte Concealer. I like this uh, to uh, cut my crease. It hasn't given me any problems. It works really, really good. Just have to make sure you set it with the Laura Mercier powder, which I'm showing you right here. I'm just taking my fluffy brush again and just setting my Laura Mercier powder. That's going to keep it from moving and then make it more easy for you to place your eyeshadow on top. Next, we're going to go into my Juvia's Place palette and use this beautiful shimmery gold color. I'll make sure to place in the video what it's called. I'm using a concealer brush to place that on top of my lid. I'm going to use this liquid liner from, I think it's called Stelia, and it's white. I'm going to do a little trick here. I don't have, like, all the colors, so what I decided to do is buy the white one. And then by getting the white one, I feel like you get more bang for your buck because you can do the liquid liner and then just place, like, whatever color you want to place on top of it. So that way you don't have to burn too much money out your pocket trying to afford all of the colors. You can just place the white liner on there and then just dab whatever color you want to put on top of it. And bam! You got every color girl in your eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Save that money. Next, we're going into my Hobby Lobby glitter. You know I love my Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to place that on top with my Too Faced uh, glitter glue. Going into my waterline with my Lancome pencil as always. I like this pencil because it don't drag on my eyes. For my mascara, I went in with real colors. It gives my eyelashes lots of definition, length. So I love it and I love it for my bottom lashes as well. Now to warm up underneath my eye, I'm going into this brown color and this orange. I'm going to put the brown one first and then right under the brown, I'm going to put the orange just to give it like that, you know, that sunrise look. Now for my highlighter, I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to mix these two colors together and put and um, place it into my tear duct. That's like my signature thing to do. Now I'm going back to my OG foundation, which was the L'Oreal True Match. I'm um, still trying to decide if this uh, matches me. Sometimes I feel like it gets my skin a bit too oily. I don't know if it's because of these lights. You know, the lights get hot or whatever when you're recording. But 
I mean, I've worn it out and never had a problem, but lately I guess my skin has been really oily. Now for under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Concealer and just use my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. I love my Tarte Concealer, it just gives you that wake up look. Now for setting my Tarte Concealer, I'm gonna go into my Kat Von D Shade and Contour Palette. I love this palette, this is like my second one. I'm gonna go into this color right here and I'm just gonna place it underneath this to set my, uh, my concealer so it don't budge because you know I have really oily skin. And make sure you use a soft brush when you're setting your under eye powder. I try not to put it too close to my under eye because I don't want it to fall into like any lines or anything. So I only place it like underneath my eye, not right underneath it. I'm going to contour my nose just a little tiny bit. I normally use a cream contour, but I want to uh, use my powder so, you know, nothing, no product goes to waste. Next, I'm going to go and contour my cheeks a little bit, my fat face, you know, chisel that out a little bit, contour that up and to warm up my face some because I am so light. <laughs> now I'm gonna highlight my cheeks a little more because I kind of like messed, uh, took it off when I was doing my contour and I wanted to really show. I'm trying not to put too much because I have oily skin and my face gets so shiny. Now to blend everything together, my highlighter and my contour and in my foundation and everything, I'm gonna set it all with this uh, Lancome powder. I like to always make sure none of my lines, and make sure everything is blended, well blended. I just take a big brush and just blend everything on in and try not to mess up my highlighter too much. But yeah, make sure you always blend away your concealer, uh, your contour lines. Next, I went into my MAC blush. It's like a peachy color. I'll, I'll leave it down below if you guys are interested. I'm just gonna pop it right here on my apples. Now for my eyelashes, it's just some little cheapy eyelashes that I got for free from Amazon with a product that I ordered. They came free with it. Um, just some little lashes that I was like, let me go ahead and just use them for my YouTube video. Now for my lips, as always, my NYX liner and my, I think this was the Anastasia lip gloss, liquid lip gloss. For my uh, eyeliner also, I went into this Sally Glitter that I had. It's like a beautiful emerald green color. So I'm just gonna place that right underneath where I put the orange and white eyeliner. I'm just gonna plate that, uh, put that right underneath and just give it a little pop of color. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment down below or you can hit me up on Instagram at Caress Divine. I'm still blowing my hair. It got kind of wet from the rain, but it's all good. It kind of lasted a little bit because, you know, like I said, I wouldn't curl my hair over again because it's natural. That's a no-no. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.